Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we've got a big one. We have a full studio makeover. And let me explain why. So long story short, previously in my life, uh, you guys will have seen that I have been living with my friend Devon for like five or six years now. And last year we moved into this place which had this beautiful like studio area, this mezzanine layer. It was like so perfect for both of us to work in, super spacious. In that year, it turns out that both of us are now moving in with our partners. So Devon has now moved out and my partner has moved in for just a few weeks though, because <laughs> again, long story short, as soon as my partner moved in, we got an eviction notice, which was super, super cool. Basically our landlord decided that he wanted to sell the place and wanted the place vacant for it. So I'm doing a studio makeover, but there is gonna be another studio makeover in like three or four weeks because we're moving again. So yeah. My life is a bit of a mess right now. I also wanted to take this opportunity to explain that obviously because of all these moving issues and all this stress, I've had to pause some of the benefits on my Patreon that involved physical goodies. So if you are a watermelon tier, obviously this month there will be no physical goodies. And also the videos on Patreon will, won't be coming out until probably July or August. And also my shop relaunch is probably not gonna happen for another month now because obviously I don't know where I'm gonna live in three weeks anymore, so. <laughs> I need to actually find a place to live first and then manage to finish all the designs of the new stuff and then get them produced, ordered and sent to the new place uh, so that I can prep for the new shop launch. So <laughs> I'm a bit stressed and everything. So I thought, why not distract myself with completely redoing my studio that I'm barely going to be in? <laughs> so you'll remember that the studio kind of looked a little bit like this and it you know, it was very spacious and everything, but obviously at the time, both me and Devon were working in this place. So we had it sort of designed in a way that we would both have an equal amount of studio space. Um, but now I have the whole studio to myself. So we have to do a little bit of rearranging. And in order to plan, I actually did a little bit of drawing on my iPad which you guys will be able to see now. So obviously I have the whole studio to work with now and not just a little corner in, in the end of the room there. So I currently have three desks. So obviously I don't need three desks. I'm probably gonna sell one once we move, but right now I needed to organize all these desks into a way that didn't completely obscure the whole studio. So I thought I'd make like a really long L shaped desk over there in the corner where all the plugs are, which are two plugs essentially, and kind of make use of those plugs as much as possible with extension cables. And so I'd have my main desk over there, which is a new standing desk, and then would have like my art supplies and everything on the desk next to it, and then like a packing desk where all of my art prints and all of my packaging stuff will be underneath so that everything is easily accessible. And then we have these like Ikea shelves um, that have been sort of on the right hand side of the studio up until now. So I thought I'd put them on the other side just to uh, make use of that space. Usually I kind of just use the right hand side of the studio here as like extra storage really. So it's where I'll put my soft box light, any extra office chairs that came with the place. And I was thinking of maybe even doing like a little painting corner over there, but this was before I knew that I was gonna have to move in a few weeks. So that's not really gonna happen anymore. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of the thing that I came up with. And obviously I knew I might have to change this a little bit once it actually came to putting things in place. But this was the initial plan and I thought it would be really nice to have all that open space in the middle of the studio. So that's the plan and let's get into it. Also, today's video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. Thank you so much. Um, they sent me some really cool goodies that you will see very soon that I managed to put up in the new studio and I'm so, so excited. And without any further ado, let's get into it. I have a lot of stuff to clean, declutter. Let's get into it. So first things first, I had to completely tidy up, declutter and move everything about in the current studio layout. As you can see, I have like my desk right in the middle of the studio, just super in the most inconvenient space because that's where me and Devin used to have both our desks back to back. So now I have to create a space in that corner where those current shelves are in order to move this desk into that corner. 
And uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've been, you know, piling up and kind of accumulating in the studio over the past year. So this is also a really nice way to kind of declutter and just look at all the, you know, scraps of things that I've always kept and be like, oh, I'll use that in packaging. Oh, I'll use that in my crafts or whatever. Um, and then I never actually use. So I moved both of my desks over there into that long wall at, at the far corner and then continued to <laughs> completely mess everything up while I was trying to declutter all of my packaging stuff and just kind of putting all my packaging in the same corner and making them look a little bit more organized. And then I put those shelves um, that used to be on the right hand side over here on the left. This way I could basically have all this open space in the middle of the studio and just like in my sketch it did fit everything really nicely. And that was pretty much all of the moving of current furniture that I had. And finally, I could bring in some new furniture. So FlexiSpot actually were super, super sweet and sent me this amazing standing desk that I am going to unpack and build. Super exciting, I've always wanted a standing desk. And the cool thing about these flexi spot desks is that you can actually like change the height of them to your leisure. They have like a little controlling pad. And I'd barely even started and I was already so warm because <laughs> it was a really, really warm day, but the grind doesn't stop. We simply must continue. So yeah, the tabletop is huge. As you can see, it's like one of the largest tabletops I have ever seen and yeah it's awesome because it means that once I do sell one of my old desks I'm not really compromising on desk space this desk counts for like two desks really it is so big and spacious awesome for filming drawing and just doing all of my tasks really Building this desk was super, super fast and easy. It was just, you know, putting the legs on and everything was super easy with the instructions. I had this desk built within like less than 20, 30 minutes. So um, look how cool it is. Like it, it does a really soft elevation and just changes the height of the desk super, super easily. It is awesome. And it's super quiet too. It just does it quietly. It's not even like loud or annoying or anything. I am super obsessed with this desk. Look how spacious it is. I started moving all of my computer and all my my lamp and stuff onto this, this desk. And even with all my stuff on it, still there's so much desk space, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to have to compromise. And if you thought that was all, you'd be sorely mistaken because FlexiSpot also sent me a new desk chair, which is so, so exciting because I really have been on the market for like a good office chair that won't break my back or completely just succumb to the pressures of my butt and sink within like a few months. So FlexiSpot sent me this awesome chair in this like bluish, like baby blue gray color and it is so good you guys it's got so many like different settings you can change and like lumbar support it's really really awesome again super easy to build it took me like 15 minutes and now i've got a brand new setup and i'm super super excited So after building all this furniture, it was now time to actually declutter and organize all of my art supplies and organize my whole studio really and putting things in place. So I actually got these little drawer dividers, um, like organizers. I got like a big set of them. So I've got some for the kitchen, some for the bathroom, some for my studio. And they're awesome for organizing pens and things like that because they're nice and long. So I use those to organize some of my extra markers. And then I actually put my little X cube organizers, like my pen organizers, over onto the desk next to my main desk so I could have like more easy access to all of my most used pens and, and pencils. And I took this opportunity also to organize my tech, <laughs> my tech crate, my little tech box because it was such a mess and now it's all nice and organized and that can just easily slide down into one of my shelves over there on the side. And yeah, 
I just kind of put all things that I use the most over there on that desk on the right so that I can have easy access to them. And then something super exciting, I actually got someone off Etsy to make this amazing like neon sign. I've always wanted like a little neon sign in my studio because I think it makes things so cool. And then it also creates amazing like lighting vibes at night. And I got someone to write this one, like this Piper's studio. Look how cool it looks. It's in this purple color that adds the coolest vibes at night and I'm obsessed, honestly. I'll leave the link down there to the seller on Etsy that I got this made with. I also got these really cute coaster and wrist support set from a seller on Amazon and they're, again they're in this really cute like lavender purple color and it's in this cloud shape which is so perfect so it's like a little wrist support for when I'm editing and you know using my mouse. Next up, I actually have a little obsession with tulips at the moment. So I got this huge set of like fake tulips because although I do love tulips, I am really, really bad with plants. So I thought this is the best way for me to have a beautiful set of tulips without any of them dying. So I actually put them in one of my plant vases. It looks so beautiful on my desk there. And it was finally time to just start adding all of my bits onto my shelves. So I've got this like air cooler, which is really, really handy. It's like portable and it's awesome. I got it on Amazon as well. And that was it for the final touches, really. The studio really came along really nicely. It only took me like two days to finish this makeover. I just kind of moved things around and made it suit my current studio layout, really. And I'm really, really obsessed with all the open space, honestly. I think I did a really good job. So pat on the back to me. I'm obsessed with all the lighting coming through, hitting like every single area of the studio. The neon light is honestly like my new favorite thing. It is so, so cool. It was such a weird splurge, but I was just like, I've always wanted one and it was like honestly so worth it in at night especially for like editing sessions it is perfect because it just creates this super cool like like neon purple light in the shooter it's so cozy so yeah as you can see I've got my packing desk my second desk for like drawing and stuff and then I've got my main desk my standing desk that I'm so so obsessed with it has been such a dream to be able to just choose when to uh, be standing at my desk especially for like packaging patreon mail and packaging things it is just so so nice to be able to stand because then i can just grab stock a lot easier without having to get off and onto my chair anyway i just think it streamlines things a lot more and it's awesome for my back <laughs> So yeah, this is the final studio. Here are some pretty glamour shots. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite part of the studio? Do you like the new layout? I'd love to hear your, your opinions on it. I'm super, super excited to just get to work in the studio just for, even if it's just for a few days or a few weeks, it's just a really nice vibe in here. So what do you think? I'm really, really happy with the current layout. I think it's really, airy there's like tons of space for me to just like mess about if i do feel like procrastinating <laughs> i feel like i can be really creative in this space even though i'm only gonna be here for like three weeks now <laughs> you guys get two studio makeover videos this summer how exciting is that <laughs> but i think it was really nice to actually rearrange all my things. So as I mentioned earlier, obviously my shop is gonna be closed for a little bit longer just because of all these little, you know, issues with moving. So if you are interested in supporting me in any way, Patreon is the best way to do that right now. The physical goodies aren't going out until probably July or August anymore in the watermelon tier again for the same reasons, but everything else is running as smoothly as usual. And yeah, let me know what you thought of the studio makeover, which area is your favorite. And if you're looking forward to the next studio setup video, that's coming very, very soon. Thank you again so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video and for sending me so many amazing goodies to elevate my studio. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.